This is First Kings 3 and 5. Uh, it says, And Gibeon the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast sold unto your servant David my father great mercy, according as he walked before you in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day and now O lord my god thou hast made thy servant king instead of david my father and i am but a little child i know not how to go out or come in and thy servant is in the midst of thy people which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that i may discern between good and bad for who is able to judge this thy so great a people and the speech pleased the lord that solomon had asked this thing and god said unto him because thou hast asked this thing and has not asked for yourself long life, because that's one of the um, blessings that um, that guys are looking for. You know, that's one of the reasons why they want to be in this truth. You know, everlasting life, which is a blessing. You know, that's a good thing. You know, but you know, on on the other side, they don't want to die. You know, they scared to die. It says, um, neither has asked riches for thyself. You know. They want to get rich, you know. They don't. They don't want to do it for y'all by some y'all It says, "Nor has asked for." I mean, ask the life of thine enemies. You know, so that's one of the reasons why you know this this is so important. You know, a lot of these guys out here asking for the lives of the enemies. You know, but the Lord, you know, He want people to be for Him. You know, but I'm gonna continue. It says, but has asked for yourself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any rise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto you all your days. And if you will walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. You know, so like the, the, the guys who go out here and, and, and want to um, uh, put to death everybody right now. You know, Yahushua, you know, he was the king and he could easily, you know, just said, forget this. I'm about to just uh, go in and, and anybody that ain't for the Lord, you know, I would do that, you know. But that that that's not what this is about, you know. He wanted to, to, to be closer to the Lord and the Lord blessed him, you know. But um, that's the main thing, you know. We don't know what... The, the 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 blessings are going to be you know what i'm saying well we know what the blessings are going to be but the the feeling that we're going to have you know lord willing if we're the elect but we got to make sure that we get that far you know so with that um i'm gonna end it and i'm gonna give all praises honor and glory to y'all by some y'all side because that's what's for you know at the end of the day you always give reverence to them pray always you know Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone. And as it says, salawam to all the Akim that's out here doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Salawam.